Okay, from the Scorpion, Volume 1, Number 43. That's Sunday, June 30th to July 5th, 1992. The first story, Johnson escaped assassination attempt. Sadly enough, besides the previous mistake made by the Ecomog forces as regards the forceful prevention of the June 7th planned demonstration, again on that very day, the leader of the IMPFL, Major General Prince Yomi Johnson's life was threatened, while civilians riding with him were manhandled by the Guinean contingent of Echo Mall. According to our reporter, General Johnson, during the late morning hour of June 27, had been requested by Echo Mall's chief of staff and the CMIO to talk to the various congregated groups of demonstrators to go home and not to demonstrate. The ECOMOG promised that by Monday, other plans would be made for the adequate protection of civilians or citizens who felt there were need to demonstrate against the ills and corruption and subsequent resignation of Dr. Sawyer and his government. However, when the general was being escorted to the various sites, his entourage was composed of Nigerian ECOMOG soldiers and your own vehicle was abruptly stopped at the Carwell Cotton Tree Junction by Guinean Egomog soldiers and a 45 pistol pointed to his head. While a RPG, a rocket propelled grenade, pointed at his vehicle and his people hustle. His people hustle. Wait, let me see if I can find it again here. Yeah. Okay. The people hustle and a man handled out of the car. At God will have him. The general was not moved by this action and sat in his jeep without getting down. At what order? Neither did he retaliate, maybe as was expected. Instead, a Nigerian escort quickly moved to his rescue, where there was a fist clash between them and the Guinean soldiers who were in possession of the 45 pistol and the RPG. Later, as the general turned his jeep around to head back for his base, the Echo Mog's war, war tanks or Moaks tried to block him where he dogged, where he dodged the scene, but not before his jeep was hit by one of the tanks. He, however, managed to escape the scene and drove to his base since his escort's vehicle covered him. The Scorpion Wonder why all this occurred on Saturday when General Johnson was not the leader of the demonstration but was asked by Echo Mark to talk to his people. Did the second time that Echo Mark have allowed and said to be used by the IGNU against the very IMPFL who brought them into this country? Do you hope to achieve peace and unity this way, Echo Mark? Your solution is not to kill the leader of this faction but to bring them together on a round table for a dialogue. Remember, they have thousands of followers and destroying their lives will only promote a uh, chain reaction effect. Let us be peacekeepers and not peace offenders. We would like to publish at this time the full text of the letter signed by the field commander of ECOMOG, M Major General Ishaya Bakut, to General Johnson yesterday, June 27, 1992, for the public's information. We would like to conclude by saying what the general said to some contingent commanders yesterday at the Echo Mall checkpoint. He said, you want to shoot me? Shoot me. But I will never kill you because God will curse me. For he has said, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Okay, then there, why the man and they kill though? He also continued by saying, when you do these things, you only embarrass me and my forces and other factions while Ignu looks on because and last because you brought you in. And later, the very Ignu, but I am a commando, brave, strong, and intelligent. And the revolution is not just one day business. <laughs>